And uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. And members of this House would be familiar with the many events that took place around Australia as part of National Science Week. The CSIRO, as part of a national effort to promote National Science Week, arranged for local science, technology, engineering and mathematics professionals to visit local schools and engage with students. The engagement of students focused on these disciplines known as STEM, as recent research has indicated that student involvement in these areas is declining. And while the number of students undertaking study in these subjects um, is decreasing, job prospects in these areas are actually increasing. 75 per cent of the fastest growing occupations now require skills and knowledge from the STEM fields. And the events coordinated by the CSIRO during National Science Week were intended to highlight to students how important these skills are in regard to employment prospects. And in my electorate of Dobell, with a high youth unemployment rate, I'm pleased to see more activities being undertaken to encourage students to embrace the positive aspects of STEM fields. The students of Woodalba Community School hosted a visit from Dr Sophie Parks, a PhD graduate from the Orimba campus of the University of Newcastle, employed by the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. And I'd like to thank Dr Parks for taking the time to demonstrate to students how STEM skills can lead to local employment. On the day, I met with students involved in the school's agricultural program. And as I learnt from the schools, I was impressed with their efforts in managing the treatment of sick trout in their school fish ponds. And after seeing the fish facilities, the students demonstrated to me their greenhouse programs. And Dr Parks, being a plant physiologist, was able to explain to the students how the work they're doing has real life application. Now, I didn't think I could be any more impressed with how this school was preparing students for post-school life until I was advised of their job readiness program and mock interviews. And at Woodalba Community School, interviews are arranged to assist Year 10 students equip themselves for their subject selection, ensuring that the student's subject choice for years 11 and 12 are realistic and conducive to their career aspirations. And in observing this program, I was able to appreciate how the students were placed in a situation similar to a job interview so they can understand the practicalities and consequences of an interview. And on the day, I also met with Rhonda Boardman, who is um, coordinating these activities. And whilst Rhonda is hugely supportive of the interviews and was pleased with how well the students were adapting to them, she also advised that the whole ethos in this school is focused on practical job readiness skills. And this school is ensuring its students are best equipped with the ability to gain employment. And I commend Rhonda and the Wadalba Community School on their efforts in preparing their students for the workforce and pass on my thanks to the staff and students for welcoming me to their school.